in our trig book, they have three sections in a row where I think it's a bit confusing. They seem to kind of define the trig functions three different times. And I want to make sure that people know it's all one thing, just, just sort of different aspects of it. So here's how I want to say it. Um, there's this base case, the simplest case for trig, where we've got x and y axes, and we've got a line coming out of the origin, a line segment coming out of the origin. And to make things really simple, because this is the base case, we're going to make things more complicated later, that's going to have length 1. And all the different possibilities that it could have, that's going to lie on this quarter of the unit circle. So, um, and then let's stick right it again. Let's see. If we want to care about the y component, or the y coordinate of that point, x comma y, that's this guy, and here's the x, and voila, there's a right triangle. So what I want to emphasize is that this one picture is both viewpoints, both fundamental viewpoints on trig, which is the right triangle trig picture, and the unit circle picture, and we've specialized to the case where this is one, which you don't always do when you learn right triangle trig for the first time, but we're going to specialize to that, and um, specializing to the case where you're in the first quadrant, which you don't always do when you're thinking about circle trig. So this is the overlap of the two uh, basic kind of definitions. Let's call this angle theta. Very standard term for that. And the book talks about how if um, this is the unit circle and you measure that angle in radians, then that happens to be exactly the arc length of this guy. Although they use like three different letters for the same thing, which is a bit confusing. They use T and S and theta for the same thing. Okay, so that's our fundamental situation where everything is going to apply. And then the definitions, we have sine theta. I'm going to focus just on sine and cosine for right now. Actually, let me do cosine first. Cosine theta is opposite over, or adjacent over hypotenuse. Hello. I did not have my morning coffee. And that's the same as x over 1. And so in this case, it's just x. So this is a definition you would see from triangle trig. This is a definition you'd see from unit circle trig. They are the same in the overlap where both both cases are applying. Okay, And then sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, or y over 1, or y. OK? So that's our basic um, case. Now, let's at least push it a little bit. We're going to push it eventually outside the unit circle. But let's push it to a couple of extreme cases, which you wouldn't do in right triangle trig. One of them is where this thing collapses and theta is equal to 0. And so you're still in the unit circle. You're still at radius 1. It's not really what most people call a triangle, but it's kind of a degenerate triangle with no height to it. Okay, And there, that's going to be theta equals 0. And we're going to have um, cosine of 0. This, def that's, this is showing us some of the advantages of this definition right now. That still makes sense. It's just the x-coordinate of that point, and that's equal to 1. And the sine of 0 is the y-coordinate, and that's 0. Okay, And then the other extreme, while we're talking about the first quadrant only, is going up here. Theta is 90, or pi over 2, in radians. And that's, again, I can't, if I drop the, the perpendicular, it just is the same thing as the hypotenuse, essentially. And so that's not really an honest to god right triangle, but oh well. It still makes sense with this definition. And we get cosine of pi over 2. That's the, the x-coordinate of that point. That's 0. And sine pi over 2 equals 1. OK? And before we go away from this, this setting to look at the generalizations, I just want to remind you there's two flavors of values of cosine and sine. Hopefully, this is review. Okay, for most folks who are looking at this, because I'm going pretty fast. Two flavors. Um, there's the exact values, and that's things like cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. These are the very special values, the special angles that come from special triangles that we actually know how to do, okay, uh, exactly. And so that's root 3 over 2, and then the, the other values are root 2 over 2, 1 half, 0, and 1. 
But of course, it's not all the possible angles by any means. It's just our, our landmarks. And then there's the things we need to do on the calculator, because doing them exactly is pretty frighteningly complicated, to be honest. Took a lot of time to, for people to figure out how to get approximations for this, like cosine of 0 0.6, which would be cosine of 0 0.6 radians, if we write it that way. OK, and then we just need the calculator for that. OK, so I just want to remind you of those two flavors, even when we're in this base case. So everything comes back to this base case. Whether or not you're doing triangle trig or circle trig, it all comes from here. And that's where, hopefully, there's a pretty clear overlap between the two perspectives. So let me show you one, one of the generalizations. OK, one generalization is, let's say it's a non-unit circle a circle of radius bigger than 1. Um, or in other words, it's triangle trig with the hypotenuse not set equal to 1. So in a lot of ways, this should be familiar from triangle trig, at least for my students who have seen that before, although I know it's it's been a while. It can, can be shaky. So here's our unit circle. I don't know why I'm dotting it in. Let me put it in bold. OK. OK, so often when you learn triangle trig, you don't put it on an x and y coordinates, but there's no harm in doing that. And you don't put it inside a circle, <clears throat> but there's also no harm in doing that. So I'm going to look at a right triangle. And because I've put it in x and y coordinates with this point at the uh, this corner of the triangle at that vertex, shall we say, at the origin, this is still x and this is still y. OK, now this is no longer one, assumed to be 1. It's a much more general right triangle with a general hypotenuse. But what I really want to think about is kind of doing all the problems with a certain given hypotenuse all at once. And so as this floats all the different possibilities for all the different angles in the right triangle, let's make sure we just keep that at the same, the same number. And so let's call that r. And so if you want to have um, something very explicit, let's say r is like 20 meters. And I'm looking at all the possibilities for triangles that have a right triangle that have hypotenuse 20 meters. And those are going to all fit inside this circle. Now of radius 20 meters, not radius 1. OK? So what I'm trying to do is show that we still can think of it in a circle way, as long as we just make the circle bigger, embiggen it, as the Simpsons would say. Or we can think of it in terms of triangle trig. OK? <coughs> Excuse me. So in terms of triangle trig, the definition, like if I said cosine of theta, what would that measure? It still totally makes sense to say adjacent over hypotenuse. And now that's x over r. It's not just x anymore, because r is not equal to 1. OK? Um, and so that's a big difference. This is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. If you're not on the unit circle, you can't just read off this number and say that's the cosine, this number and that's the sine. You have to go back to the idea that they're ratios. And they're always ratios. It just happened to be that those, the r and the denominator before it was equal to 1 for simplicity. Okay, But I want to point out something, that this does really relate to the unit circle as well. Because I can always draw a little unit circle in here. I could actually just draw the unit circle with radius 1. And then I could draw a little tiny version of the same triangle. And I want you to think a minute, pause the video if, you, if it takes a while to, to remember what the terminology is. What's the relationship of this little triangle, this little right triangle, with this big <coughs> right triangle? You might want to pause it right now. They have the same angle right in here. I know I drew this really small. But they have the same angle here. They have the same right angle, so they have the same angle. They have all the same angles. These guys are similar triangles. Okay? They're similar triangles. And if this hypotenuse is 1, okay, that means I've shrunk... That guy, the smaller triangle, is shrunk down by a factor of r. It's everything's divided by r. So what's that x-coordinate? Oh, guess what? It's x over r. And what's the y-coordinate of that guy? Oh, guess what? It's y over r. Okay, Which totally makes sense, because this triangle has that same angle theta in it. And the sine and cosine of theta should not matter how big the triangle is. That's really an essential point that I'm probably going to stop this part of the video with, <coughs> leaving you, leave you with is that cosine of theta, that's really cosine of theta, just of that angle. It doesn't ask you, oh, where is the triangle? How big is the triangle? It should not matter how big the triangle is. That's why it's crucial 
then in general it needs to be a ratio of sides because that's the kind of thing that's the same when you scale things up or down with similar triangles. And if we scaled it down and said, how does this relate to that old unit circle stuff? Suppose I, I'm trying to talk to somebody who only thinks trig makes sense on the unit circle. I can totally talk to that person because all I do is I scale the triangle down so that this big radius becomes one, then y turns into y over r, x turns into x over r, and we've got our sine and cosine on the unit circle. Okay. So that's why this is really totally consistent still, even though we've kind of moved out of the home base where it's on a circle of, of radius 1 or equivalently with hypotenuse equal to 1. Okay. In the next video, I'll talk about the, the next generalization, which is going all the way around the circle, um, which is definitely less, definitely more weird in terms of tri triangle trick. Okay, good place to stop though.